prophets had long foretold the sign of his birth. A prophet is more than a teacher, though. A prophet receives revelation from God. Revelation is God speaking to men. It's to know things as they really are. God doesn't change. He's developed a pattern to let us know what he would have us do, and that pattern is calling prophets, starting from the, the beginning of time with Adam and Noah, Moses, all throughout the Old Testament and then in the New Testament. I think that the history of mankind shows us that in the process of rejecting the things that the prophets have taught us, we reap the rewards of unhappiness. On the other hand, in the process of choosing to obey what a prophet directs us to do, there is, there is great happiness, there is joy. In the times of tribulation, the times of war, the times of turmoil in which we live nowadays, there is need for a ray of hope or a ray of light. And, and prophets receiving direction from Heavenly Father give us that, that hope. All prophets in all time have shared the same message, a testimony of Jesus Christ. Surely he hath borne our griefs and carried our sorrows, and with his stripes we are healed. Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. There shall be no other name whereby salvation can come unto the children of men, only in and through the name of Christ. He lives, for we saw him, even on the right hand of God. The main message of a prophet is that Jesus lives, that he is our savior. We see again a pattern that Heavenly Father has given to us, that he loves his children and will then direct his prophets to teach us the ways in which we raise our families, in which we live in our communities, in which we live in our nations, that allow us to become a God-like people. That is what the gospel has always been about.